Hey, this is Dean Soto from the Online Empire Academy here with another keyword inspector reverse ASIN tutorial. All right, so this time we're going to be talking about simple keyword research or simple, uh, actually, what is it called? Simple um, current keywords for reverse ASIN and then simple all keywords for reverse ASIN. Okay, so simple current keywords and simple all research uh, keywords. It's gonna be a very boring video. <laughs> it is, it's gonna be a very boring video. We're just gonna look at the data. Um, it's more of a tutorial, kind of a, a what it, the heck am I seeing type of thing. But if you wanna learn how to use this data to actually make some uh, money with Amazon, to grow your Amazon business, to uh, aspire on your competitors, all that other stuff, uh, there will be a resource at the end of this video. So uh, I've done a couple of different keyword inspector tutorials, and you can check those out if you haven't. Um, uh, I go more into actually running reverse ASIN searches and they, everything like that. So go check those out if you haven't already. All right, so let's go get a, I'm going to get a uh, ASIN to use real quick for reverse ASIN. And if you don't know what reverse ASIN does, go to my, um, there's actually a video that's just like a primer on reverse ASIN. It's um, a quick start guide. If you search YouTube reverse ASIN, A-S-I-N, reverse ASIN quick start, you'll see that video as well. All right, so let's see, uh, oven mitts. Let's just do oven mitts. Let's just get whatever oven mitts we got. Amazon's choice, silicone oven mitts. I'm going to take the ASIN from up on top here. Do control C to copy. Then get rid of this. That was from previous. Then I'm going to do in my reverse ASIN, I'm going to pop that ASIN into there. Not going to do any groups. And then I'm going to select simple current keywords. And then we'll do all keywords after. And click start. <coughs> Okay, so it's saying that it's processing the ASIN searches. Okay, I'm going to do this new reverse ASIN search again. And I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to choose all keywords right there. And then do start. And there we go. All right, so I'm going to click here, see if both are done. Sometimes it takes a little while. Looks like one's done. So I'm just going to wait a little bit and let me refresh. Okay. Well, one's done. Let's go into that one real quick while that's, while that's done. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Okay. So this is the simple search. Now remember with extensive, let me show you all this awesome stuff that you got with extensive. Simple takes one key, uh, one, uh, the, the simple current takes one, uh, credit. And this is what extensive looks like. Wow, you get all this awesome data. It looks great. Woo, tons of data. And if you go to my extensive tutorial, you'll see what all these mean. And now we're in, we are in simple. <laughs> Not a lot of data <laughs> at all. Okay. So, um, so what this is doing, it's giving you really three things. Okay. So the three things that we're looking at are column one, which is the best keyword rank extensive column two, which is ki a keyword, which, which is the actual keyword. And then ASIN keyword at the time of search. Okay. Right here is, this is all saying everything else is basically saying it, it's extensive. Okay. All right. All right. So let's go through some of these columns, not too many of them. Right. So best keyword rank extensive from the last few videos, you know that I completely ignore these. I don't ignore, I totally ignore these in my business. This is uh, okay. I should say this, that generally this, the, this is all ranking off of how many searches this is getting per month. Okay. How many searches this is getting per month. So in simple, we actually do not see how many searches this is getting per month. All right. So this does play a little bit more role than basically zero before, but I still kind of ignore it. So I'm just going from top to bottom, seeing like are with this, with simple, which I never use, uh, are these making sense? Do these look like they would be good keywords? And generally, um, I'll go off of, uh, off of like my gut with this. Okay. 
And then right here where it says, uh, so then it says Amazon current search volume. It says that's for extensive only, so we can't have that. ASIN keyword position at the time of search, and that's four right there. So if we go here and copy that keyword and we go search for these, at least at the time of search, this may change. We should see that it's number four. Did I misspell something? No, I didn't. Okay. It should see it's around four. Oh, you know what it's doing? It's doing, uh, it's changing this to mitts with two T's. So if I search the actual keyword, see if it shows up at number four. Oh, uh, does it? Are these it? Let me make sure these are them. Let me go back here. No, the silicone ones. Okay, those are the silicone ones. What do those look like? Okay, let me see what those look like if we go over here. Oh, these must be the same ones. So if I click here, oh no, they're not. Okay, so simple. Usually it's, huh, weird. Okay, so usually it would show, uh, if it's a smaller number, it's gonna show a uh, show it pretty close. Let's grab another keyword real quick. Since it's four, generally it's gonna be within that realm. It'll be three or four or five, et cetera. Let's see, silicone gloves mitt. Let's grab that one, and that says that the time when Lace when Reverse Ace and last saw this, it was number three. So let's grab that, and click that, that uh, right there. So organic search; these are all sponsored searches. Uh, one, two, and three. There it is, right there for this keyword. Ah, it just froze. That for the keyword that we just searched. So that worked. All right, so that's generally it. There are two others that you can do. The listing graph, if you, if you click that, it costs eight credits, and it'll try and create some graphs for you in a little bit. It takes a while for that to happen. And then if you do this AMS advertising thing, I don't even know what it does. I've yet to see any good data come from it. Um, it get, it's supposed to tell you what, um, what at AMS advertising there is supposed to be. But then you can see all the graphs right here. Um, that it that it made. Not sure even what the graphs mean. Uh, at least in my business, I'm not sure. But um, you know, eight credits can be a little steep for that. Let me refresh. See if any AMS data comes in. Nope, no AMS data. Okay, so that's generally it for simple. All right, so let's go to uh, check out the current real quick. We're gonna go and do um, the current. The simple all one. And if we click into here, looks like it's done. Um, so we click into here. What we're going to start seeing, supposedly, um, is all of the keywords that all of the keywords that this has ever ranked for at any time, point in time on the first page. Okay, so it's just giving you more keywords. And generally, the way that you know that it's th that their keywords from like a long, long, long time ago is that they'll say NA, but here it looks like it was telling all of the, the rankings. So it's just giving you more, whoop, just giving you more keywords and uh, generally that's it, okay? And then it does, uh, you can do the list and the graphs and you can do AMS, but that's generally it. Not, not that big of a difference, um, yet, but it's just all that ha it has ever ranked on for page one. Uh, but yeah, generally that's it. Okay, if you wanted just to get some quick ideas, it's great for just coming up with some quick uh, reverse ASIN ideas. So if you want to learn how I use extensive search, which is three credits, how I use extensive search and I use reverse PPC search to really dominate my competition uh, when I'm doing any anything with reverse ASIN and Amazon, if, if you go to www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse. That's www.academytrainings.com forward slash reverse. I'll show you my method for spying on my competitors and then dominating them uh, with uh, sponsored products and just in general, okay? www.amazontrainings.com forward slash reverse.